Okay, so let's go over how to scream. Yes, I'm in my car right now. I'm getting ready to go for a run, but uh, the information will be just the same. So let's go over how to scream real quick, just so you can kind of get a good idea of how this actually works. Um, I am becoming more and more in favor of the fry scream the better I get at it. Now, I don't have it perfected yet. Um, there's certain things that I'm kind of struggling with in terms of getting it to be less of a scream. So like I can do the full scream, the yeah, like that type of stuff pretty damn easily on the high B right there, which is a pretty easy note. It kind of goes into my falsetto right there. And then when I try and do like a, I'm trying, I'm trying to sing this song, um, Gasoline by Audio Slave, just for fun. Um, when I go into that part where it's just, yeah, when I'm in that part, yeah, it's tough to get into the fry scream there. Um, so I do it kind of, yeah, um, let's see here. Yeah! Let's see. Yeah! I mean, I can't quite get the pitch there. It's tough to kind of get in between that. But you can hear how there was still kind of that fry there, as opposed to trying to go, yeah! Which just strains. It just does not feel good. I don't like that scream at all. It just strains my voice. I can feel like things not feeling right with that type of a scream. It's much louder. It's much harder the voice. Um, and that's the gravel. And so... Um, the more and more that I scream with this particular technique, the more and more that I try and go away from the gravel. Um, and I start leaning more towards the fry scream, which I do believe that if I keep practicing it, I'll be able to get into the notes. And if I sing with my own stuff, for example, um, if I'm having trouble getting into the, into the sound, I can always just sing it clean. There's no reason why I have to sing my own songs dirty every single time. But the full scream is there, okay? The full scream is definitely developed. So I want to go over how to do the fry scream, how to get into it and um, what techniques I'm using to, to get into it. So the first thing that I want to say is that if your voice starts hurting, stop. That's it. If your voice starts hurting, just stop. Um, other than that, drink lots of water and you'll be okay. I'm not even drinking water. I haven't been drinking, well, I drink water every single day, hopefully, but I don't even need it right now because my voice just is getting so used to it. It's such a relaxed sound that I'm getting into. And so let's go into um, the initial sound and how we get into it. So the first thing you want to do it's just the, the glottal vocal fry. It's very simple. Just the uh, Okay, you should be able to have that going pretty damn consistent. Shouldn't be difficult to do. It should also be really, really relaxed. And any time that you're screaming should feel like that. So if you're having trouble getting that sound, then you're going to have trouble screaming. Um, and so you just want to relax it, pull back on the volume until it's relaxed, until it's there. It's not going to feel like a speaking voice. Okay, it's not going to. And going even further to when you're screaming, when you're screaming, it feels like you're pulling back on the chords. It doesn't feel like you're pushing as hard. The chords get lighter, um, it gets a little bit easier. You can add in glottal compression on top of the chords, but the chords are opening up and so everything feels lighter. It feels easier on the chords and the chords are just shaking. It's really pretty simple. So that's the initial sound, just uh, I can go forever. Try and get that as consistent as you can. And then we're gonna start bringing the voice into it a little bit. We're gonna get into it, really where it starts sounding like it's screaming, by doing the uh, uh, the little, small little neat, 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 neat. We're gonna get into it like that. Then you start adding in the fry, okay? So that's gonna be right here, so. Neat. Okay, you add in that thing. And you're simply just adding in air. So I'm going, okay, just breathing, just adding in air into it. So it's a little falsetto, reinforced falsetto, very quiet. And then I just add some air to it, okay? Now that's not gonna be enough to really get the scream. It's not really gonna be enough to do anything with it. So you take that sound and you take it towards an oh, oh. Okay, kind of a French O, oh. not quite all, oh, but an O. Oh. It's very, it's it's kind of towards that French, the French O. Oh. And you're gonna be going like this. Whoa! You put it onto a yell. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Now it's gonna be a little bit heavier at first. I want you to lighten that up. Okay. So you're gonna be right there. Whoa! Into the head voice. So. Okay, it's gonna kind of break down like that. It's gonna be able to get into the upper register like that, okay? And then you start doing it with other vowels. And that's the easiest one to get with the chest voice, okay? Because you have to get the chest voice in there, otherwise you're just gonna get stuck in the upper register. 
Um, and you can do it with an E going back to the E. Um, e Remember how the E modifies, modifies towards an A. E e and it's actually easier to sing like that than it is with an actual pitch. Um, for whatever reason, um, and I think it's because the chords are just lightening up. But that's where the scream's gonna be, okay? And then you can start doing it with other vowels, okay? Start doing it with the, with nays. It's a little bit harder. Notice that my tongue. It stays down on the back. That's really big. start getting into that stuff yeah and that's really where it is it's where the scream is and um it's easier to do in the upper register than it is in the lower register with that scream but you don't have to push anymore okay so you're not gonna be pushing with the lower register the lower register is now gonna start to get pretty easy so eh, so eh, eh. Okay? And that's really where you can scream. That's where you really, really where you can get that fry. And the challenge is to still keep the voice there and keep that fry scream. That's what I'm working on right now. I pretty much got the fry scream. Um, no I know why you've been taken! No I know why! So bleed your heart out! However that song goes. Okay? But, um, feels pretty easy. My voice doesn't really seem like it's hurting at all. Um, if I do that too much, um, sometimes it feels like it kind of like dries out because there's air getting passed through it, but nothing that I can't fix with a little bit of water, which I am out of right now. That's Propel. I, I love this stuff. For singing, Propel is probably the best stuff you can drink for singing. Um, it's got all the electrolytes and all the different things you need to uh, get your body going in terms of being able to sing. Um, and just, just being, being healthy, you know. Electrolytes are important for health. Your potassium, get your... What else is in this shit? Let's see here. Yeah. Well, there's zero sugar. That's always good. Sugar is bad for you. Sugar is a, one of the worst poisons that you can eat. Although we do need some energy. So, you know, sugars, fats, you need a little bit. Not much, though. Um, natural foods are going to give you enough. Um, sodium. We've got potassium, magnesium. That's pretty much it. And it tastes good, too. I think it tastes better than regular water. So I like that stuff. So I recommend it. But um, yeah, as far as screaming goes, guys, um, you got to start out real quiet. You got to start out real relaxed. You don't want to try and push into it. And then once you start to get the initial sound, then you start simply yelling through it. You just start simply, you know, singing through it. So, hey, yeah. Okay. And that's kind of where I'm stuck at right now. That's not quite getting the chords to shape. The chords are still kind of trying to sing. And so it's kind of weird. I'm used to singing these notes rather than screaming them. And so it's going to take me a little bit. It's going to take me a little bit to be able to do it. But um, it honestly almost feels like it's easier than scream or easier than singing. And, um, you know, I'm going to be, once I get this technique down, I'm going to be coming out with a uh, fry screaming mastery, which I think that I'll probably be a master of this stuff in probably a couple of months because it's already sounding really, really good. And it's just a matter of just getting used to it and getting used to singing that way, which feels weird, by the way, when you first get into it. It really does. It doesn't feel normal. It feels like you're just, like your chords are just kind of opening up and you're just letting them go. And it's not what you'd expect. You'd expect this to just sound, feel like a scream bloody murder type sets type feel, but it doesn't. It feels really relaxed. And uh, anyways, that is it. That is my video on screaming.